wood investigation. Or trial, my bad. Before I do anything, I actually want to make sure I put trial down in the name, and I can't even see the name. Eh, whatever. Hmm. Oh, wait, I want to press B. December 26th, 9.44 a.m. District Court, Defendant, Lobby Number 2. Karma. That's right, Manfred von Karma. Best prosecutor there is. Lost the case in 40 years. God of prosecution, right. A god. Not a single case. He'll do anything to get guilty. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. I don't understand. He'll do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. Quite quite a claim coming from someone who forged his evidence. Taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. I don't do math that much because I hate it and suck at it. So now. So, he was your teacher then, Edgeworth? Something like that. Now he's trying to get you guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait. He's planning on using on purpose to help you. Not a chance. Lot hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! As ruthless as me t times 20. Pretty ruthless. Like I said, God among prosecutors. I guess that's not... I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia, remember Maya? Uh-huh. He's really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. Can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. Couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training, bruh. Powers are weak again. Ah, oh, what a bad timing. Wow. Really sorry. I'll try my best. Hope so. Wow, that's a dick from March. What are you whispering about? Oh, nothing. Time. Let's head in. December 26th, 10 a.m. Courtroom number three. Courtroom. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's look at our new opponent. Scarring. And Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. Seriously, think I would not. I would stand here were I not completely prepared. Right, my apologies. You got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. Decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ah, nothing, of course. That should be fine. Prosecution may call first witness. This guy. Is he royalty or something? Am I supposed to fight against this? 
Oh, detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first, let's see how this goes. Hmm. Describe the incident now. Yes, sir. Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please look at the map. Whatever happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. Two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10, she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. But towards the rental shop. Testify to the court about the arrest now. Whoa, 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 wait. Mr. Von Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one who was supposed to handle the proceedings. Wrong. There's only one thing you need, you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your rule. Yes, of course. That's quite right. No, he's not. I see. Very well. I'm sorry I didn't read through that. I actually didn't realize that was the testimony. Begin your cross-examination attorney now. Arrest of Edgeworth. Man called into station around 30 minutes after midnight. Headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we would. That's where we found Edgeworth. Didn't expect him of anything, but the next morning a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Edgeworth. We received a call from a man? Oh uh, yeah. He said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard two gunshots, right? Ooh. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Uh. Testimonies were quite similar, however. I've summoned the woman who was camping. Rada. Next, detective. How long was it between you receiving the report and arrival? Well, I'd say it was about three minutes. Holy crap! Our motto for the month. Get there quick. We'll refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Yeah, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Look forward to your next year's salary review. So much to look forward to these days. No time to uh, for a dejected daydream. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe. Yes, sir. What was Edgeworth like when you first saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looks pretty relaxed. Like, not like a murderer at all, really. Detective. The court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts. Detective. Hard, cold, objective. Facts. Yes, sir. Got his share of objections. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. 
We have deep trusting relations with prosecutors. Detective, the court isn't interested in your in your musings. Deep trusting poppycock. I heard so many uh, flippant comments from an active detective on course. Mm. Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue now. But next morning, body was found in Lake. Von Car Manfred Von Karma has probably the, probably the best objection voice there is. Then I'm not gonna say who's next due to game time. Um, I'll more than likely end up saying that they're good, but completely forget that I said all this. Did you find any clues on the body? Single bullet was recovered. That looks nine. Maybe? How is it so intact? You shot through the heart fatally. Here's the bullet. Didn't strike bone, so it's shaped well preserved. Very well. Court accepts bullet to evidence. That is not... 22. Oh, I'm trying to get myself to sneeze. But I'm just not realizing I'm breathing into my mic. Sorry. Oh. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. Murder weapon? Yeah, I may guess that thing's probably murder. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right, so sorry, Your Honor. Murder weapon. What's decisive evidence? the wrong thing. Crap. I meant to present this and, and that's wrong. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Ah, that's the same evil laugh as a twist. Fingerprint on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Edward's right hand. What? Did you check the damn trigger? Order. So Edward's fingerprints were on the murder weapon? Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. I accept it into evidence. Members of the court, we now have the pistol we used in the murder and the bullets found in the body. Detective? 
Yes, sir. Was the bullet you found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings, the bullet matched the uh, pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. Does he, what does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. Someone here doesn't know something as basic as ballistic markings. That's not really that basic. He's glaring at me. Very well, I'll explain. I could judge you do it. Me? <clears throat> Ballistic markings are like fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive markings on each bullet it fires. You can carry it. Examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. Quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. The pistol, which you may recall, was recovered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Order. This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did. Well, Judge. Say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point, however. Just to hear the witness speak, no doubt, very well. I somewhat I am somewhat fatigued and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge? Yes? What are you doing? 10 minute recess now. But wait, I bring your flimsy dabble and get on with it. This court will take a 10 minute recess. Who is running this court? December 26th, 11.09 a.m. Edgeworth? What is going on here? Fingerprints are on there? Uh, mm hmm. Foggy Ferdo makes one thing clear. Only one who could have shot the man was the person in the photo. True. Is that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? You must believe me, I didn't shoot him. And you did. I don't know. You don't know? Aren't you right there? Heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. Can't say why, but I thought at the time he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? It's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh? I'm not going to convince anyone with that. Is it Maya? Hmm. Uh, what? Progress? Oh. Sorry. No good. Okay. I know. I'm not good for anything, am I? If I can't call, I might as well not be here. Yeah, you're useless! No, I need you. Of course not, I need you here. You see, you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, you don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. That's more I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Oh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. I think it already did. Really? Whoa, right. Don't jinx this case any more than it is. <laughs> it's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, sorry. 
I do have to admit that was actually really funny. Like, just imagining Phoenix starting to kneel down to, like, it's okay. Everyone has bad luck. Imagine, that, I mean, sooner or later, my luck's gonna start running out. And, like, Edgeworth is just standing there watching from his side. Like, he just, like, in shock, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, just kicks Phoenix in the face. Don't jinx this anymore than it already has been. Quartz is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call a witness. Yes. Will Miss Water Heart take stand? Water Heart, you are a research student at university? That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. Don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? We need to learn some manners. Understand? Yeah, I understand, I understand. Now, very well, your testimony, please. Witnesses account. It was Christmas Eve, and just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car, I heard this... I'm gonna make this very clear. Let's look back up the map. So they were like in the middle of this. You would not be able to hear a 22 shot. Even outside. Your mic wouldn't be able to pick it up if your if a voice can't. It would have to be at least a 9mm or something. Because a 22 isn't that loud. are two gents in a boat. Another Merry Christmas. Bang. There wasn't nary a thing on that. On the lake but the boat. Enough. Huh. Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo, accepted as evidence. Well, this is a surprise. Looks like the very moment of the murder. Order. I will remove people from this courtroom if they do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order, order, order. I will have order. Well, Judge? Evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, this court finds the defendant. Wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross-examined. Cross-examination? We have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? Photo worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. <laughs> bubble bass, or do you claim to have found a contradiction? Oh, I thought my controller died from the change of music there. <laughs> it 
very well. You have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then, I will have you held in contempt of court. Contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I think there's a contradiction with the fact- It's either a- It's either a- No, blah. It's either a contradiction, or guilty. If there was. I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice any of your- Excuse me, you. Right, let's take him on. I got a bad feeling about this. I understand. I cross-examine. Very well. Pray for your sake. This isn't a waste of time. Just after midnight, you say? In other words, it's no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day! Huh? Uh, yeah, well, yes. N I know you want to find contradictions, but really... Mm, maybe your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. But in this continued testimony... I was in my car. Why were you camping there, anyway? Research? No. Why were you in your car? If you have a tent. I was taking pictures for you in research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Miss Harder, could you be more specific about your research? What does the witness's motive in camping, by the way, have to do with the case? The answer is nothing. I object to the line of questioning. Objection to stay a little late. I'm the one who says that. Well, then I will then say it already. Objection to stay in. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. Heard this bang come from the lake. So you weren't looking at the lake at that time? Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions. Not really sure we chat with the witness. Mm. I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture, clear enough for you. Yeah, oh. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw them. Uh, yeah, well, of course. We just testified she saw them. There's also a photo. You would best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. Jumped her. If you jumped in quick, he is hiding something. Were you watching the very moment this, the shot rang? Oh, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, Mr. Wright? Not meaningless, Baba. I think I hate you. Trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? sure about that? As sure as a country gal can be. I don't think that's very sure. No offense to anyone who... How come you're so sure? I scanned the whole lake. Oh, it sounds like she's more interested in the lake and the boat. I need a drink.
Ah. It's heart, you. Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, this what I'm sustained. Yes, of course. Oh, great. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. Seems you're unable to find contradiction in testimony worth in anything but your honor. Keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts by holding to you in contempt of court. If that happens, you'll have to leave the room immediately. Understood? Uh, uh, Nick? Water testimony is fishy. Real? Fishy? Uh, I know what you mean. But... I can't say anything. What can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. And pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take stand. What? H who said that? It was me. Maya? Is something wrong? Do, do you need to use the facilities? No, I do not. What a heart, your testimony stinks. Unclear whether you actually are looking at the lake. I only doubt what you actually saw at Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. Matter of life or death. What was that look? What was that look on your face? What a... Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You won't stand down the court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Wada. What's the big idea treating Kid me like some kind of criminal? I saw him, I swear it, I saw Edgeworth. Enough, Judge. Declare defense contempt of court. Yes, of, of course, I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard at escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. Yeah, what? No. No! Wait. I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Huh. What's the difference? All that remains for the guilt for the. All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong. WRONG! What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That's not in the testimony. That changes the testimony, and I have right to cross-examine again. Order, order. You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. Sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What? Miss, La Miss Lotta Hart has made a new testimony. Defense does have right to cross-examine, but he's in contempt of court. No, I am. You're going to arrest someone arresting me. Very well. My FA, you'll leave the courtroom immediately. Nick? I did what I could. You have to do the rest. M Maya? Heh. <laughs> Care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. Better find a contradiction in here or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. That's it? Ugh. Don't know if I can find anything in that. Can't squatter my efforts either. 
Well, what about the other man? Can't expect to be allowed to blithely ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe you claimed there was a contradiction in the witness's testimony. Well, find it if you can. Have to sign. Oh my God. Well, um, I think I'm gonna save the game because... The picture? Got ya. Got ya, heart, finally. What? You got up what? Look at this photograph! The photo I took. The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. Quite visible. The fog. So? The picture was taken with professional high quality film. But even it, it, even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. That you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth? How? Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. What? Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Ed Edgeworth explain yourself? Miss Hart? What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course, I said I could, and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstance of your sighting. I did it. Round hole. When I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. How Edgeworth was seen. You're right, it was cold night and fog was thick as grit. So once I finished setting up my camera, I got back it and bruh, you, you said you were there for two days. So that would have been your second night. Or actually, the end of your... Ah, what the... So as I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought binoc- What difference do binoculars make in fog? When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked at my binoculars. See, no problem. You use binoculars very well, you may- No! What difference do binoculars make with- So, how could you see Edgeworth? Hold your horse. Hey, no objection. Camera, yeah. Oh, there we go. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Telescope, not binoculars. Got doubts about your camera too. Is that really to take pictures of meteor showers? Camera is irrelevant to this case. You could say that for you can't say that for certain. Hmm. Mr. Wright, is the camera really irrelevant to this case? If you believe this, you may continue with this line of questioning. Camera is of utmost importance.
Miss Hart, what made you choose that lake to photograph meteors? You know fog gets thick on that lake. It's not very suited to... I guess I wasn't thinking to treat... Mr. Ryan, I will not have you badgering my witness because of it. You were saying how it was when you saw Edgeworth? Party encountered an error. I got terrified when my when my party of her way disappeared right there. And I can't open a party, yay. I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed I bet I bet she didn't know that. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? I think this was not at the way to, shoot, to photograph shooting stars. Well then, what exactly was she photographing? Your Honor, take a look at this. Miss Hart? This is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article. Gordy? Oh, this is a sighting at Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart, I never heard of no lake monster. You got no proof of nothing. See, you prove I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. I have it. Proof. Hmm. Intriguing. Let's see it. No joking around this time, please. What is this proof that the witness here? The proof, Miss Hart, is the own camera. The camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here activated with, uh, I accidentally did that. What are you on? What the hell? Oh my god. I guess my parties can't handle being invited only because the second I get out of it, my overlay disappears. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set up your camera to respond to loud noises. Order? I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart, you were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Not bad. Are all you warriors that smart? So smart, I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? I don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used was several precious minutes of our time to prove. There's nothing more than what the witness is an idiot who thinks the monster exists. Hey! But, as she is so. so what, subsistently said, so what? It changes every. it changes nothing. Not true. 
you are hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason, I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. His heart? Why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine, I'll testify. I, it won't change nothing, though. Something will change, it has to, and I'm going to spot it. Karma noticed this, this that I said that, yeah. What is new testimony? I'm not a research student. Investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. So I came camping up by the lake. But that's what all I was hiding. When I heard that bang, I looked straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I got heard another gunshot. So I was looking right at that boat the whole time, crossed by a heart and hope differently. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross the turning witness. Witness's testimony is unchanged from before. It's very changed. Whether she's a researcher or a photographer has no bearing. No need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Okay. I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. And Karma's up to something, I know it. it doesn't want me to cross-examine her. Why? Is there a contradiction? Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Huh. That would be a first. <laughs> Very funny. Last chance. If there is no problem, we leave the wit we let the witness the witness leave. I will announce my verdict. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Water's new testimony. Then what manner of person are you? I'm not sure I'm a high volume enough to be called a manner of anything. An investigative photographer. Yeah. You get your self a photo, it to the press, whatever you know. Why you felt you had to hide your true purpose, got word out what I was up to, it could be competitors, competitors, yeah. Aw, oh, that's the only reason, bro, well, actually. Hold 
is there nothing on the way? Go, 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 go. I guess actually this would have made sense. I did consider having to show this. Miss Hart? Were you really looking at that boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. The only thing out there any normal person would be looking at. I agree any normal person would. But you're far from normal. What? Y'all want to step over here and save me? Camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. Would you really... What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You would be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Continue, Mr. Wright. It testified... You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy. And that's what you were doing. Well... Well, now I know y'all mention it, I did sort of make my binocular, take my binoculars and kind of scan up the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hara, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just, I thought, you know, I could be witness to a murder and all. I kinda got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat till now. This this is totally uncalled for. But hey! You got the photograph. Photograph! You got proof. We can't see who this is. I'm shooting in this. Right, right. That's why I I took this photo and... Witness, that's enough. I've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shut my what? What's she going to say? Took the photo and... Wait a second. You had a photograph to prove it. 
Well, I can't tell from the photo who's shooting. She said she's going to enlarge the photo. It will drop the quality and might, but who's who? Enlarged it. Why won't one karma let her show it? I've got a hunch that that enlarged photo shows something back with on karma. I can't. I'm wrong though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth or worse. What should I do? Make her show. Duh. Miss Hart. Ooh, look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph. Did you not? Yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? B because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You're the one who told me not to show it to the court in the first place, you old fool. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? <clears throat> Miss Hart? Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. Uh, the prosecution objects to the submission of evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here. Hmm, still can't see who it is firing. Could be defendant, or maybe not. Regardless, I'll accept. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Hmm. Has to be something. Ask for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. And the little good it has done. Any of us. So I requested she not show it. Hmm. So it just means that the cross-examination is over, obviously. Uh, I'd like to close the cross-examination of Miss Waterheart, and none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed when the trial began. Decisive evidence? Decisive witness? What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it's my time to declare my verdict. No, no, it's not supposed to go down like this. It has to be a nice clue somewhere. This is bad. Real bad. I'm not fucking up, so I'm going back to my phone. Is it already seven? Wow. Your Honor, there is something decidingly strange with this enlargement. What might that be? Is she right? No, show the court what you mean. What, what about this photo is strange? Here goes nothing. Here's what's strange. Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at his hand holding the pistol. Oh yeah! His right hand prints were on it. And it, he's shooting left-handed. I freaking... This is the same feeling I had when I played through this my first time. I was just like... I could have thought this part through my own. But it... I, I honestly just don't want to go reading through the court record completely, and I have terrible memory. 
at hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. Oh my god. But if I'm gonna say anything, why the hell did Edgeworth pick the gun up anyway? This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Edgeworth. Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I'd like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You have given us definitive proof today. We n now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, that leaves us with a rather large problem. If Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there are no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? The victim himself. Larry. It was Larry. There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order. So you're saying that the victim committed... Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I am so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Gunpowder. So... Before the game goes into it, gunpowder. I remember the game will explain this, but I'm going to give my own vivid explanation, so. Let's say you were to shoot at something point blank, or when you shoot something from a rest in a way. Like the, the, of course, there's going to be pressure behind it, but... The gunpowder from the casing, the shell casing that launches the bullet out. Some of that goes with the bullet outside the barrel. That's why you usually need to clean barrels, or one of the reasons. The other reason, one of the other reasons is, um... Ah, uh, whatever, but... Um... Ah, damn it. It will leave, like, traces of gunpowder scattered about in front of it as if they were tossed, in a way, like, just thrown in a circular aic pattern, I guess? So, if, if you really think about that, that's how it's easiest to tell if something was shot point blank or a via distance. But suicide is out of the question. What? Examination of the victim's wounds reveals distance at which he was shot. Distance? 
The kid was clearly shot from further than a meter. A meter? That, that's three feet. Wow! No, I thought three feet was a yard. No way it could have been suicide. I mean, some people have a strangly long tri uh, arms. Why did I say legs? Mr. Von Karma, are you sure the accuracy of your batter? Of course, I had already considered the possibility of it, you see? Hmm. I see. Very well, allow me to- oh, damn it. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, print on the gun reveal that the shooter was not Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for trial today. Court orders the defense and prosecution further investigation this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. Court is adjourned. One fifteen. That was close. Hey! Can you have anything to say? No. I have yet to be the Shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that one, yet. I did not kill him. I was kidding around. Hmm. Look. I'm going to go check on Maya. Oh. Right? What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell... Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Rick, will you just state how you really feel with events? Requisitions transcript of Lada's entire testimony. Holy crap. Give ammunition for trial. She didn't see the shooter. Only part of her testimony that stood out was the bang she heard. To be continued. And I'm sorry, but that goes for us as well, guys. Um, 